I wound up living back in my old bedroom. I moved in here when I was five. Now here we are again. It's the circle of life. Oh, look, and there's Simba. Whatever Hola, There's my baby boy. You can live it up now, because the next thing you know, they turn into that. Hi, Mom. Before we eat, I have something very important to say, okay? Damn, we all still look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, because you're a part time, I want to refresh your memory on something we'd like to do. It's a, it's a, a patriotic song. It's inspired by people in uniform, in particular cheerleading uniforms. Okay. We're gonna do this song now. It's probably the one, one of the most patriotic songs ever written and recorded. It was recorded. It was, it was inspired, that is, by people in uniform, in particular women in uniform. To be quite honest about it cheerleading uniforms. Yeah. First of all, I must say this is the most patriotic song ever written recorded. It's inspired by people in uniform, in particular women in uniform, uh, cheerleading uniforms. Okay. So I'm moving into. Kimmy, you do not need to do this. I agree with DJ, you do not need to do this. I've waited my whole life to say this. Whatever. Stop. I can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Steve's so in love with DJ, he didn't even notice this sandwich. Three, two, one. Hey, is anybody using that sandwich? I forgot two very important words. Have mercy. No. How rude. Cut it out. Or from those days, particularly women in uniform, to be honest about it, cheerleading oh, uniforms. It's girls night out. I don't know if I should be tugging this thing down or pulling it up. Do you have reservations? Yes. I <laughs> Let's call Michelle. It's five in the morning in New York. Oh, voicemail. Oh.